Alright guys, um, I had to, uh, wait until the next day, uh, to finish this tutorial because it was getting late last night, so, uh, what I went ahead and done is, um, I folded a little bit of a lip on my tube like this, just, you know, fold it down a little bit, uh, and then I stuck the plug that has the hole in it, uh, up to the end, up to the lip, and then what you're gonna wanna do is, uh, take your hot glue, and then run a bead of hot glue all the way around that little lip and that should give you a nice end plug with which you can start building your shell with alright so now that you've got uh, part of your actual shell completed you're gonna wanna take your uh, flash bag and fuse and attempt to stick it in through the uh, hole that you bored earlier stick the fuse through there it takes a couple tries you might want to enlarge your hole a little bit with something just so then you can get it through that should be big enough and then just stick your little flash bag in there until it's at roughly where you want the center of the shell to be so there I'm not sure why well you can see that but it's about halfway or until your masking tape which you should have made about halfway and then once you have that in there you're gonna want to take some hot glue and run a bead of hot glue around the fuse so as to keep it in place like that alright alright for this step you're gonna need your stars your shell with uh, flash bag inside of it and your meal black powder now you may have noticed that earlier I had my granulated black powder in here but um, the bag I found had a hole in it so now the uh, gran uh, granulated black powder is in another uh, bag and then now the meal black powder is in here so uh, you're gonna want to take your stars and then you're gonna want to put them on a sheet of paper or in some other way uh, put the stars into your mortar tube just like that alright now that your stars are in there um, you're going to want to take your meal black powder and some sort of device to get small amounts I, I like to use a knife uh, so you can do things like that and th that might be a little bit too much actually you don't really need much but I think this should be fine so you know just kind of sprinkle it into your shell shake it around a little bit to get an even coating of it on uh, all the stars and this will act as your primer so after you have this done uh, if you want to stick anything else in there you can but um, if you like the way it looks, you like the amount of stars in there, you can move on to the uh, next step. Alright, so I went ahead and uh, put the plug in there already, and I realized that I have way too much uh, tube for the amount that I actually used. So, um, I think I'm going to cut this top part of the tube off, just leaving a little bit above where the plug is. Alright, so now that you have a tube of the right size, hopefully, uh, start doing the same thing you did with the other side. Fold down all these little tabs like this until you have a nice uh, covering for your shell. You might want to clean this up a little bit, but you don't really need to. Alright, now what you're going to want to do is open this up a little bit and then try and uh, attempt to take your plug and stick a little bit farther up now come on stick your plug a little bit up if it's possible to do that um, and then take your hot glue run it around here and then quickly fold down all your little tabs before it cools you might want to stick a little bit more in there alright 
Now, you have yourself an almost completed shell. Now, what you're going to want to make sure you, uh, you're going to want to make sure it can, uh, still fit into your film canister. And Now, if you're like me and you have some extra room in your tube, um, you may decide that you want to, uh, wrap your shell in duct tape to give it some extra strength and make it burst a little bit better. So, just rip off a strip of duct tape that you think will go all the way around the shell. And then, just start wrapping it. And it's good if you have a little bit uh, left over on the top and bottom. Because then you can fold it down like this. And then, you have a little more added strength there. And for a shell this small, it doesn't make sense to spike it, so this is probably the best alternative. Now, at this step, it's important to make sure that your shell can still fit into your tube, and that you still have enough fuse to get away before it goes up. Now, I've determined that I do, so I think it's time to make the lift charge. Now, for the lift, you can use just about anything. Um, I like to use flash powder, but you can use granulated black powder if you want. If you do, uh, there's actually a, a ratio uh, of weight you use. Um, I think it's 10 to 1, so for every uh, 10 grams of weight of your shell, you have to have uh, 1 gram of granulated black powder to lift it. Um, for flash powder, I'm not sure if there's anything like that, so I just uh, put enough in there so it looks good.